Hey guys, what's up? It is me, Jim the Sim, and we are back into The Sims 4 for our next Sims 4 Let's Play series part. So the last part was actually the first part. Um, we didn't really get too much accomplished. Of course, we did indeed start working our job at the hospital as a medical intern. And Princeton actually did start his job as well as a mailroom technician. However, we actually had our brother visit us. I guess he left already. Um, that was a quick visit. But anyways, um, our brother actually came over as well. We hung out with him for a little bit. But other than that, we really didn't get too much accomplished. Don't really know what we're going to do in this part. Of course, um, our ultimate goal is to get the hell out of this house as soon as possible, which um, hopefully won't take way too long. I have a house in mind that I want us to move into, of course, but... Uh, it might take a while to get that much money um, saved up for that house. Of course, we will be looking forward to that. So hopefully it won't take too long because, of course, we do both have jobs. Um, it looks as if um, Sydney will actually be working tomorrow and same with Princeton. But as of now, they are just chilling like a villain at home. And it is Monday night, of course, because Monday is the worst day. So they are both very frustrated at that. And it looks as if uh, he's not too happy with the quality of food. Uh, what a smack in the face to Sydney because Sydney slaved over that stove after a long day of work, and he's really going to be that disgraceful and rude and disrespectful to her. I think that that is rude and low. Uh, actually, we could head off to the park. I think that we should head off to the park because I actually want to get them um, both significant others. So we can go ahead... Head off to the park for maybe an hour, hour and a half. Um, not stay out way too late because, of course, we do both have work tomorrow. But, hey, you know, if we have some spare time, we might as well head out to the park because I want to find them both a significant other, as I said. Um, hopefully, it won't take us way too long to find a boyfriend-girlfriend because, of course, we have to follow in our parents' footsteps and have tons and tons of kids. Don't th I don't think that that will be too hard, though, considering the fact that um, you know, I just don't think it will be hard. <laughs> I don't know what I was going to say there, but I don't think it will be that hard to have a bunch of kids. Um, but we definitely do need to follow in our parents' footsteps in that matter and just have tons of kids. But we have made it to the park, it looks as if. Um, so let's go ahead and scope out our prey, see if we're working with anything right now. Um... You know what, Miley Cyrus wannabe, we don't want you. Your face is okay, your face is okay, but the hair, no, no. Um, this guy right here, mm, his head looks too tiny for his body. Like, his body is completely jacked, and then his head is just, like, tiny. So, that reminds me of somebody at my school, actually, now that I think about it. Won't say who, because I, I don't like to name names or call people out. But we'll just, we'll just leave it on that note. Um, let's go ahead and see you. You're not that bad, actually. Would Princeton be down, guys? Do you think Princeton might want to talk to Sarah McNally? Actually, she's an adult, so never mind. We don't do that cougar crap. Um, Moving on. It looks as if... Oh, this one is not that bad. Look at this. What is your name, little girl? Ooh, that's a teen. Um, We're not, we're not going to do that whole teen teen young adult thing that's just not legal so we're gonna pass on that one who is this waldemar brand hey a decent person so we're gonna have sydney go ahead and just you know um see if see if he's down see if he's dtf as they say in jersey shore um and princeton we are gonna continue our hunt for princeton um you know what you wouldn't be so bad if you weren't dancing like that, okay? Um, until then, Prince is just going to lay out and watch the stars by himself under a roof. Because, you know, you can really see stars well under roofs. Um, but other than that, I really don't think that there's too much potential at the park right now, unfortunately. As sad as that is. What are you doing wearing a sweater like that, Lyle? Lyle? Um, you know what, Lyle? I don't want you right now. Um... Ooh, she's not that bad. Are they twins? They literally look so much alike. Like, their eyes are great. Yep, she's a teen, too. Uh, no, they're not related at all, surprisingly. But, you know, I guess it's just their faces. Uh, let's see. Who is this? Is this some freaking butler? Who let you out of the house? Who let you out of the house? 
butlers need to stay in their houses. Um, you know what? I literally think that we don't have really have any potential here. So I'm just going to have Sydney go ahead and talk to Valdemar, I believe his name was. I'm not 100% sure. Vald Waldemar, sorry. I apologize. It's kind of like Walmart, but, you know, not. So we're going to talk to Waldemar for a little bit, see what he's see what he's all about, see what we're twerking with, um, and then we're just going to go ahead and continue to lighten him up a little. Trick, treat, no. This is not freaking Halloween, get a grip, okay? So we're just going to tell a funny story, see if we can lo loosen him up a little bit. Um, we're not going to trick him with hand buzzer, because that is never a good way to make a first impression on somebody. Let me tell you that from first experience, or first hand experiences. Um, we're just going to go ahead and straight into a deep conversation, gossip a little maybe. Oh, dang, girl. Did you see that, guys? I should have paused and looked at that because that was a fine piece of, you know. Um, we should have actually had Princeton talk to her if she wasn't so freaking fast. Oh, he's actually talking to Lara. Lara? Don't know how to pronounce it. Um, but she's a teen, of course, so that's kind of creepy and illegal so we're not gonna we're not gonna um try to go for a romantic anything with that girl of course we could try to be friends with her but of course nothing more than that and we're just gonna continue our awkward kind of cold shoulder conversation with waldemar and we might want to head home soon because we actually start working 10 hours um and we kind of need to actually he's a massage therapist at highland hillside highlands okay cool um, well, you should definitely try to give us a free massage once in a while. I would love that. Definitely. But we're actually going to go ahead and head home because, um, you know, we need to get some sleep tonight. And, ooh, hey, girl. Hey, girl, hey. Hey, 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 what's up? Wow, your eyeshadow is on point, sister. Okay, why are all these teens walking around? They're like, you know what? I'm just not even going to get going to go there. I cannot talk, guys. I apologize. I was at work all day today, so I'm kind of a little bit thrown off because of that. But you know what? Hopefully you can bear with me. So I'm just going to have her talk one more interaction with him, and then we are actually going to go ahead and... No, nope. don't dance. What are you doing? Actually, we're just going to head home now. And I just realized that she's still in her scrubs, which is kind of awkward. You know... I guess if you're going to take on the nurse lifestyle, you need to live, breathe, and eat the nurse lifestyle, which she is definitely doing. So I will go ahead and cut back to when we have made it home, and I will be right back. Okay, guys, we are home. So they are actually both pretty tired. Um, maybe not, actually. Sydney doesn't seem to be too tired, which is kind of strange because she was at a full day of work, and I don't really know because it's like 10.30 now. So she should be getting to that point where she's tired, but I guess she's basically like a robot. Um, so I'm going to have them both go ahead and just head off to bed, um, hopefully get a good night's sleep in before they both have long days of work. And we should be able to um, be... Uh, working towards our next promotions for the both of them. It looks as if, um, it looks as if Sydney's a little bit higher in her, uh, field of work than Princeton is in his, but of course we will both work on that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and have her do all the necessities of life, so she's gonna go ahead, take a shower, go to the bathroom, and then she's going to grab a bite to eat. And I believe that she starts to work in about an hour. Okay, no, never mind, 45 minutes. So we're going to definitely need to rush this along. Hopefully we are able to get everything accomplished that we need to get accomplished before we leave. And same as Princeton. Actually, don't, don't, dude, dude. You don't just walk in on your sister taking a shower. That is messed up. Are you sick in the head? So he's going to go eat while she is doing all of her stuff. And then once she is done with that, um, she, he's going to go ahead and take a shower. And, of course, we will be following Sydney around her work today just because, um, you know, I like the whole get-to-work aspect and stuff because I definitely do want to work hard at her job so that she gets a promotion here pretty soon, hopefully, and then we will be making more money, which ultimately means that we will be able to move into a new house, which is awesome because the house that we are living in right now is not the best, if you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, we're just going to head off to work, and then hopefully we will extend our workday, um, as needed, 
but of course if we don't need to we won't we won't do it um and then we also have to pay our bills which i completely forgot about and we definitely need to pay those before tomorrow so that we don't get our power shut off because that is never fun but i'm gonna have her go ahead and run over here really quickly buy a pastry and then go to the bathroom and then she will actually be able to start working on her duties for the day and one of which is actually grab a snack so we're kind of defeating um a two-in-one kind of thing um, so we're going to have to deliver some food to yours truly. Look at myself. This is like my really old sim self. It does not look at me, look like me whatsoever. So that is why I had to update it. But we are going to go ahead and deliver food to old Jim the sim. Um, and then I'm going to have her go ahead and buy a snack, buy a pastry after Jim is done eating. And, yeah, run. You better run. And then we're going to have to go ahead and run over here really quickly. Make a bed just to get that one out of the way as well. If you can hurry up. Come on, girl. Um, and then we're going to have to go ahead and ask a coworker about his or her day. Um, it looks like we're going to be asking him about his day, whoever this is. This weirdo. Kind of looks like Albert Einstein in a sense. But not really, because Albert Einstein did not have red hair. Um, and then we're going to have to go run over here really quickly and then deliver food to whoever, Tanisha. Okay, Tanisha, you're going to get some food whether you like it or not, so you better scarf it down so that we can move on to the next patient. Because I ain't even playing around right now. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and discuss work with whoever this man is right here. Stuart, Stuart the nurse, um, pretend to fire, what? We just started like a day ago. He's not going to trust us if we ask him, if we... You know what? I'm not even going to go there. Are you not listening to what I say? I told you to deliver food to Tanisha, so you better hurry up and do what I tell you to do, Sydney. I swear, these sims literally try to make me stressed out, honestly. They don't listen to a thing I ever say. Um, so we're going to have to go ahead and mop up a puddle over here, I guess, um, because it's only puddle. It's probably pee, to be completely honest. But you got to do what you got to do when you are go trying to be a nurse. Trying to be a nurse. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and grab a drink. It looks like the coffee is already brewed for the day, which is great. Saves us some um, time. So she's going to go ahead and mop up the puddle, grab a cup of coffee. If she would listen to what I have to say to her, that would be great. And then she's going to run over here and research online health reports and act like she knows what she's doing when she really doesn't. And we all know it. So she's going to go run over there and do so, and then I'm going to have her go ahead and... Okay, why are there so many people out here? Y'all think that you're going to get some help? Well, you're really not, so you might as well just head home now. Um, and then we're going to go grab some more food, because apparently all we do as a nurse is eat. I don't know what that's all about, but I guess we're just going to go ahead and continue to eat, because... Eating is great. Eating Pop-Tarts at work is great. Especially because, well, I was going to say they're free, but they're really not. And then we're going to have to go run over here, deliver more food to whoever this is. Randy, okay. Randy, you're going to get some food whether you like it or not. So prepare yourself for that. And then we're going to go ahead and have to go, uh, complain about work to a coworker. So this guy over here is going to just, I guess hear what we have to say even though he probably does not care whatsoever as to what we have to say to him but you know he can deal he can definitely deal and put up with it for a little bit try to be a nice person and then we're going to go ahead and definitely extend our work day right now uh stay late just so that we can get more stuff done in this amount of time um if you would hurry up that would be great can you just eat or something okay so she's multitasking i think maybe yeah okay so that's awesome good good um, then we're going to go ahead and have to chat with him really quickly, I guess, whatever, chat, chat, uh, where is it, where is it, maybe we won't chat with him, okay, I see how it is, Bernardo, leave, um, and then we're going to go wash our hands really quickly, if she would listen to what I have to say to her, that would be awesome, these sims just kill me sometimes, Dude, are you kidding? Hurry up and eat the stupid pastry and get your act together real quick. Um, so we're going to go ahead. Oh, she already did chat. Okay, wait, never mind. Um, she's going to have to run over there. And then we're going to go ahead and chat with Stuart a little bit more just so that we can get um, that last one out of the way, which would be great if we could. 
I would I would be super happy. And hopefully we will be getting close to a promotion here pretty soon. Hopefully, I don't know if we will actually get close to one, but you know, wishful thinking is always a great thing. And then we're going to go ahead and talk to this patient really quickly, see if we can loosen her up a little bit. Um, because that is another thing that we have to do. Oh, he's mean? Are you kidding me? You can't be mean and work in a hospital, you weirdo. We're going to ask him about his day. Clearly he wants to be talking to us, so we're just going to continue talking to him. Hopefully he doesn't, like, murder us. But, you know what? You never know what's going to happen in the hospital. Even if he does stab us, that would be great, because we are in a hospital, so we would be able to get treated real quick. Oh, so she did get promoted. Oh, awesome. Okay. So Sydney has been promoted to orderly. She will now make an additional 5 simoleons per hour for a grand total of 23 simoleons per hour. So she got a new bonus, new clothes, um, some x-ray displays, not so blind chart. Her next shift is Wednesday at 7 a.m. So that's just tomorrow. Um, it's basically the same work schedule, I guess, as our last job. Um, I don't know how the medical career really works up promotion wise like i don't know when you make it to the nurse and the doctor level but i guess we will see hopefully hopefully we make it to that level in the career because i would love that but we will see so we are orderly and now we make 23 simoleons per hour which is awesome i'm super happy and excited that we finally got a promotion after like a whole two days of working at the hospital not bad not bad um so let me have her go ahead and run over here real quick did you even go to work you little boy what are you doing? I thought you had to work today. What the heck? Dude. Okay, you know what? You suck. Oh, he did it. Okay, awesome. He did superb work as well. So that's great. Um, good to know. Good to know. I'm going to have him actually run over here and clean up the kitchen very quickly. Um, if Sydney's going to be making dinner, he can at least clean the kitchen up for her to do so. Maybe he should actually cook dinner for himself once in a while. I'm so sick of doing his dirty work. Um, but instead, we will just go ahead and make mac and cheese. Um, we're going to cave. Mac and cheese because we're cheap and we are young adults and we can do whatever we want because we don't have to live with our parents anymore because they died, okay? Um, and then I'm going to have him go ahead and... In actually, he's going to need to go to the bathroom just so that... It just to avoid the whole risk of peeing himself, he's going to need to go over to the bathroom and then he's not going to be eating the cereal, cereal right now. He's gonna actually just going to clean it up because she is indeed making mac and cheese for dinner. So I'm going to have him go ahead and grab a serving as well as her. And then I'm just going to drag this over here because we cannot afford for this stuff to go bad. Um, I really don't feel like wasting that much money when we are trying to penny pinch right now, to be quite honest. Because we do, of course, need as much money as we can get because we are trying to move. So we're going to need to watch our spendings um, very closely. And then it looks like Princeton actually does not have work tomorrow, which is great. He has... Oh, no, he does. Sorry. I read that wrong. Um, so they both have work tomorrow again. It looks like they basically have the same work week, except for the fact that Sydney actually has um, Thursdays and Fridays off. She does not have the weekends off um, like Princeton does. But, of course, you know what? You can't win everything. And then it looks like he's actually getting close to um, getting close to a promotion himself. I don't know how to actually um, fill out reports. Maybe you have to do it on the computer. I have no idea. I've never done the whole business career in The Sims 4 yet. So I believe we have to get a computer for that, which I don't really feel like buying at the moment. So we might not have to fill out the reports. And it looks like it is 9 p.m. already, so I guess they're just going to go ahead and head off to bed. They could go out, but it is only a Tuesday night. I think we're going to save the whole partying situation for the weekend, I guess. I guess. I don't know. Whatever. Um, and then we're definitely going to try to date date some peeps that we find on the streets. That kind of rhymes, sort of, maybe. Um, but when they wake up, of course, we're just going to have to go ahead and repeat the same thing that we just did. Um, what a great life, just repeating the same thing over and over again. Um, I'm going to have her go ahead and grab a bite to eat really quickly. She can just go ahead and eat um, mac and cheese for breakfast. I really don't care. Or she could have grilled cheese. That's sort of like a breakfast food, but not really. 
it's more breakfast foodish than um, mac and cheese is. So she's gonna go ahead and do so. Um, and then same with him. They're just gonna grab a quick bite to eat before they head off to work. And with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this Let's Play series part up. I hope you guys enjoyed, as did I. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, let me know what you thought of it down below, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.